Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sequel Grim here, and some of you requested that I show you some fights against Lord Joker, so we're going to take a look at some fights against Lord Joker, but granted, this is not something that every one of you will have access to, because you need to do this uh, with a firebox, so if you don't, haven't completed the normal difficulty yet, and you don't have a firebox yet, then I'll link down below a guide that I made previously that shows you more ways. So yeah, with that being said, hope you enjoyed this, and let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see over here, I'm just uh, using Dr. Fate for the most part, going in and out uh, of the fight, doing an infinite combo. Tag Din Shazam, that was a little bit of a mistake, you'll see clearly more on the next fight because there will be two fights. But yeah, pretty much the strategy of this is keeping him locked into an infinite combo between King and... Uh, Dr. Fate not allowing him to pretty much do anything and as long as you go step at the end of it meaning that you do your combo and uh, you tap once at the end of it you'll be able to easily do this so yeah Shazam tank that super move unfortunately I was not careful here and Shazam died this could have th this could have really backfired okay like uh, if Shazam uh, died and Dr. Fate got tagged in then uh, goodbye strategy but yeah, if your Shazam is not strong enough to survive and tank it, just let King die because he will revive. He will revive if he dies. So there's no problem with that. Dr. Fate back him, tap two times, uh, swipe back while blocking, swipe right, tap two times, swipe back while blocking, uh, then swipe right again. That's the infinite combo pretty much. And at the start of the game, you pretty much do it... Uh, until your king has enough uh, power to do the special tree because if you're tagging king and he doesn't have enough energy to do the special tree then you have a little bit of a problem on your hands over there and we're at max stacks but we're not going to use the super move because it's too risky we're going to save it for the end of the fight swipe right, tap two times, swipe right, special tree Tap two times, swipe right, tap two times, swipe right. Again, you you don't need to be in a rush to tag in and out. I know this gameplay might be weird if you're used to using all blades with King, because with King with all blades on, you're going to tag in and out much faster. But over here, you simply have no reason to do so. And in the last minute, you're going to be able to do two special trees. Dr. Fate in. And we're going to keep it, keep him in for 3 combos, because if we do so, then King will tag uh, with a maximum amount of energy, that allowing him to do uh, 2 special trees uh, on the tagging. If we didn't, he just wouldn't have had it, and we could have done 2 special trees once uh, every uh, 2 taggings. Over there, another mistake, I just swipe down, I don't know what happened over there. They just swipe down instead of a swipe right, but it's okay, it's okay, it's all good. Tap your time, swipe right, tap your time, swipe right, into another special tree. And right now we're going to have our super move available. Dr. Fate back in, re-engage the combo. King going to go back in, and uh, going for a super move over here, beautiful, let's go. Again, not the best fight in the world, I, I can see that, but uh, it worked, it worked and it, it will work for you. Okay, let's let's try this again. Let's try to put uh, to use the F the knowledge that we have gotten from the previous fight. We're pushing him all the way to the corner. Like you could use John Stewart Green Lantern instead of Shazam to not get power drain when that happens, but you don't really need to. And we're just going to keep him here with Dr. Fate. I'm not going to tag Shazam in and out and stuff like that to get more energy. And right now we're going to finally tag in our king on a 90 hit combo. It's a little bit of an overkill, kind of double and something the combo that we need, but it is what it is. Going to tag Shazam in here, and this was a little bit of a mistake. I heard it uh, with tagging him in, and uh, but I had region matrix on him, so it was all good. Re-engage the combo, Dr. Fade back in, like I could have tagged King in, I had kind of enough energy, but at the same time I was hitting in a power drain, so better not risk it, again, if if you tag your King and you don't have enough energy for a special 2, you can still come back from that, but the game is mostly over at that point, it's, it's mostly over. King going back in, for a fat special 3 in there. And yeah, at this point, the pace of the game will be far faster because we don't need to stay an absurd amount of time with Dr. Fate in the fight and we can just take him in more often. Again, we used that special tree on full energy, but uh, we're not going to be able to do another one because it's not the last minute. Remember, only in the last minute your energy generation is buffed, so you're going to be able to do uh, uh, two special trees per tagging. If you tag in with uh, 
full or very, very close to full energy. But until then, just don't. We're a mess sex, but yet again not using super move, because it is risky and it could cost us the fight, so better use it at the end, even though we're losing some damage, because we don't have that passive damage increase from it. Special tree in there, tap tree time, swipe right, tap tree time, swipe right. Another special tree. Tap your time, swipe right, tap your time, swipe right. Again, stay in the fight as much as you can with King, because if you stay less with King, you'll just have to stay more with Dr. Fate, and you'd rather stay more with King, because he does the damage, obviously. And yet again, we did uh, two combos with Dr. Fate, two infinite combo thingies. You understand what I'm saying, but yeah, we, we stay a little bit more with Dr. Fate, because we can tag in after this first thing, but we do it one more time, because... Um, that allows us to enter with full power and allows us to do two special trees every single tag-in uh, rather than uh, once every two tag-ins. re the combo in there. And it's close to the last seconds of the fight and over here I'll do something that I've come to regret afterwards, something very greedy. I choking in there with a special tree and I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's get that energy, let's do the super move and I'm like, oh, 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 that's, that's not good. Yeah, I wanted to throw in there a special tree and the super move, so it didn't happen. Let's say, let's just say it didn't happen. Okay, over here we're fighting Black Manta. He's almost dead. Like, honestly, fighting Black Manta was overall an enjoyable experience. Unlike Reverse Flash, like, that, that dude is, has 70% uh, health right now because I haven't yet invested many teams into him and he's very annoying but sometimes at some point we'll have to deal with him and again if you have uh, any doubts about fighting lord joker or don't have fire box i'll link in the description a video which talks more in depth about more ways you can do it but i'm only going to do it that way and send my other piece to the other sub bosses because it's simply the most optimal way and uh, other characters have a better time in other places and what doesn't have a better time, I'll just throw to Reverse Flash, like, n nobody has a better time there, so it's the same deal with everybody, and he has the most health. But yeah, over here going in with the Bad Ninja Catwoman. As usual, we killed our entire team, using a special tree in there. Somebody in the comments of a previous video, I, I didn't get time to answer it because it was in my phone notifications, and uh, then I was unable to find that comment, he was like, Oh, all of you YouTubers play Catwoman the wrong way and it was on a Black Manta video and I'm like, well, if it was about me I would understand but uh, about my gameplay, but about the specific way that I'm playing it, I don't know dude, I, I really don't know what I'm doing wrong here, like, if you could be more explicit in the comments of this video if you're still watching, be my guest, but please do tell me what I'm doing wrong and what all the YouTubers are doing wrong about Catwoman. But yeah, re the combo here, going to do two combos before doing a special tree in there. I don't know, man, maybe he would want the uh, double tag in with Gorlock Road and Catwoman against Black Manta, I don't know. Some people are kind of mad like that, and... Eh? Nah, it wouldn't work. I'm, I'm just joking. But yeah, re the combo, and as I said, we, with Catwoman, at least as far as I'm aware, again, it, it looks like oh, everybody's playing it wrong at the moment, so take this with a grain of salt, but as far as I'm aware, uh, there's two very important things when playing Batman and Catwoman. First of all, the special 2 needs to be up at all times, with dot on the enemy, because that dot procs your lethal attack damage passive, and keeps it uh, stacked. And second of all, you need to make sure that you build as much combo for your special tree as possible, but at the same time, do it while the little attack chance from the previous special tree that you have used is going to be still active, so you deal little while doing the special tree. And other than that, you're going to have a good time with the Bad Manager team. And again, if the enemy is not combo interruptible and you're just relying on the blind to engage a combo on them, maybe not do two combos before a special two. Maybe not do that. But yeah, with all that being said, this is the end of the fight, and we ended up with a total of... And that's fine, actually. 56 million, I'm fine with that. For 3 gears, level 7, fire box, but I'd say that's decent. So yeah, over here we're using the Just League team. Again, we're going to... As I explained in the previous video, we're going to keep both uh, Aquaman alive and uh, Flash alive. 
So we make sure that Flash doesn't die to super move, and even if he dies, we revive him with the uh, just like Aquaman super move. This dude, I couldn't care less about him, let him die. Nobody wants to donate me shards for him to get him to 5 stars anyway. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm trying for half an year to get just League Cyborg uh, to, to, to 5 stars, but... Whatever. I did a special one over there because by mistake I was going to do a super move because that was meant to be done with Flash and uh, I did a special one to kind of cancel that order, if that makes any sense. Okay, I screwed up over here again and uh, it's not the worst thing in the world but at the same time it's delaying by a lot the death of Aquaman. And Aquaman needs to die to super move as soon as possible for us to have a linear gameplay and a linear experience until the Black Manta super move is done and Aquaman is dead. We're not going to have the most optimal experience, but yeah, there we go, finally. Finally. If he tagged out him like Flash over there, I would have been very mad. Even though we could have revived him, uh, still I would have been very mad. But yeah, right now we're just going to go to town on him. Again, as I said previously, no reason to use your special tree over here. Because Black Manta has tons of armor, your basic attacks do armor pierce damage, but your specials do not. So, I'm going to do, actually, as a comparison, the amount of damage that I'm doing on a special tree is going to be, uh... Like, if it's the maximum amount. Like, if it's a crit, it's going to be like, uh... Half of the maximum amount that I deal on basic attacks, on the swipe right, I mean, with the fire box. Because as you can see, on the swipe right, when it's all, all things considered, when it's a fast attack, a lethal and a crit, it's going to be 108k. And uh, you, you do that four times and it's going to be 450 close to that k. 450k on the swipe right, so yeah, that, that's pretty, a pretty decent amount and our uh, special tree deals less, so there's no reason for you to do that. Again, you, you, you don't have to do uh, what uh, is not really required in that specific fight. Remember that. The, the, the same gameplay will not apply to every single fight and you need to adapt yourself. And we're, we're close to the finish line here, I, I think we built a pretty thick combo at this point, a pretty fat combo. Uh, might have been bigger, might have reached 1k if uh, we actually didn't get our just like Aquaman uh, to die so late. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I think this was the highest amount I've dealt with just like team here actually, 51 million, or maybe not. And right now, as you can see, we're still dealing with this dude, we're still struggling. Like, it's not really a struggle, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to use as few pips on him as I can. Because as I said, everything can be used on this dude and nothing is going to have a very good time. Because he's annoying, okay? And I'll, I'll just leave him last. If he dies, he dies. If he doesn't, I quit the game, but we'll see. Though most likely I'll kill him until the refresh. There, there's plenty of time. Though I'll, I'll be most likely left with 3 or 4 days to kill Darks and that's not enough. But yeah, the... I was going to say that the Batman Jet team seems to have a little bit of a better time, but as you can see, the gameplay kind of contradicts that. He's still being an asshole over here. And I, I don't know what's up with him not taking any damage, because I deal less damage to him overall. Like on uh, Special Tree with Catamon, for example, if I do max I'll make maybe it's because he's annoying and uh, I can't constantly use basic attacks on him and he loses the defense decreases that we apply with basic attacks. Maybe he has a higher crit resistance or something like that, but we overall deal far less damage to him. And for a Special Tree in there... Again, he can't become interrupted like he can be, but any character in the game can become interrupted, but he can't become interrupted reliably, like it's going to be a hit or a miss with that, so we have to rely on the blinds actually pulling through, and they need to pull through all, all, both on the first and on the second basic attacks, because he attacks very fast, so yeah, we're not having a great time here. But at the very least, at the very least, the Batman Jet team is kind of immortal, Batman Jack Catwoman specifically, so we do not have to worry about that one at all. We just have to worry about dealing as much damage as we can, we don't have to worry about not dying. Which which is a concern when using other teams, let me tell you. Like, a, a thing that I really don't want to do here is the Just League team against this dude. 
Like they, they are not they are not getting too much of the fight. I can tell you that they are not getting through the first half of the fight because they are not tanky characters. They don't have a good time surviving stuff. Maybe if I put Just League Flash and two meta human artifacts on the other two characters, so that he regenerates like to full health each proc of the fire box. But even then, I don't think that will be enough. Like. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that I want to see this. I really do not want to see this. But if the dudes who made Reverse Flash wanted this to be really something that could never be rivaled in terms of annoying bosses, on top of the stat changes that he does, on top of the huge speed that Reverse Flash some for some reason has, on top of everything, they could have given him armor pierce on special attacks. Imagine if this dude had armor pierce on special attacks. Again, this team you're seeing here would have still no problem. But for the other teams, boy oh boy, not a good time. But yeah, with that being said, this is everything for this one. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.